Hi guys, today we have a special guest, Masia Pinto. Thank you, hi. So, I don't know if you guys, oh, don't mind this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys um have seen my, loads of my videos I've done recently and I've mentioned Masia, this is Masia. And, um, every time I talk to Masia, basically most of the time she just gave me like, a lot of help she's a counselor by um by profession so she's also a good person to go to and also she's a really good um you know like even though she's a counselor in the world in the spiritual world she's also good at that giving that spiritual advice as well so she's my go-to and i thought today someone asked me a question once like how how do you come back to God after you've, you feel like you've been far away from God for a long time and you've done a lot of bad things and you don't know how to turn back to God? How do you do that? Like, where do you start? So I thought Marcia would give us an answer to that because that is something personally I'll just go to her and ask. And instead of me asking her on your behalf, guys, she can just answer herself. So, Marcia, how do you, uh, what advice can you give someone who feel like they've been so lost in their faith? And how do, how can they make that turn, turn around in their life to just get closer to God once again? Even when they still feel like they're broken or they might actually get lost again along the way. Like, how, what can you say on that? Okay, so getting lost in faith, failing every single time, that's just a human nature. That is normal. We are, we tend to get lost. We tend to fail all the time. We tend to fall all the time. That is what we are meant to do. But the main important thing is, once you fall, once you know that you've been lost, for you to acknowledge for you to acknowledge that yes lord i'm lost right now but i need to come back to you i want to come back to you that is one of the most important thing that you can do because that thought itself in your heart for you to want to come back to the lord is really great and that is what the lord wants your acknowledgement for you to acknowledge that you want to come back, for you to acknowledge that you want to repent, for you to acknowledge that you want to have that relationship back with the Lord is very, very important. That acknowledgement is very important because if you do not acknowledge the fact that you have gone away from God, you won't be able to restore that relationship back. Because you anyways cannot do that. It is God who is going to do that. And the fact that you want to repent is the grace that God has given you. It is that grace that is with you. That even though you are lost, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is still guiding you. It's because your soul and your spirit that is within you is thirsting for the Lord. Is hungry for the Lord. Yeah. So... You coming back to the Lord, you have to repent. You have to repent. And because our God is a loving father, he just waits with his arms wide open. He's waiting to embrace you. So you need to repent. You need to thoroughly repent for your relationship to be restored, for you to come close to God. If you can, try to do sacrifices. Sacrifices like fasting. Fasting and praying. Reading the Bible is very, very important because when you read the Bible, the Lord will speak to you. He will tell you what you exactly need to do to come back to Him. He will, he will reveal to you what you need to do, which way to go, how to, you know, deepen your faith in Him, how to deepen that love for Him. The Lord is always close to us. He is closer than we think he is. But it is us who go away from him. So the moment we acknowledge, you know, and 